every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. In today's episode we will learn how to read out a light sensor with an analog input. And like in previous video there will be a small expansion. So first things first. As soon as we read out the light sensor for the very first time it will give us a number between 0 and 1000. Uh, this is also due to what resistor you're using. So if you're using a bigger uh, resistor like 10k it will be, be lower than 1000. So what we want to happen is that if the light sensor is reading out around 800 plus an LED has to be lit. So as an example when it's getting dark the street lights have to turn on and when it's getting back day the lights have to turn off. Very simple. So task A reading out the light sensor. Uh, the schematic. We will start with the schematic. We will create two circuits, one light sensor with a resistor of 220 ohm. You can choose uh, which you would like to use, doesn't really matter. The reading will change though, take note of that. And then the second circuit has to be one LED that has to be connected to a 220 ohm resistor as well. Try to connect one leg of the resistor to the mass or ground of the breadboard just to save uh, upon wires. So declaring. Firstly we will start by declaring our light sensor. As you have seen the light sensor is connected to the analog side of the Arduino and we are connected to the fifth one. So we write now back to the digital pins. We declare our LED as pin number 2. On to the setup. Firstly we will set our light sensor and LED to the correct pin mode and we'll go ahead and turn off our street light. Finally our serial monitor has to start at about rate of 9600 so we write and again we use this to debug in the serial monitor. Now onto our void loop. Firstly we will have to read out our light sensor and whenever the reading is smaller or equal to 800, we will print out its day and the current reading. And we turn off our street light, don't forget about that. Else we print out it is night and again our reading and turn on our street light. Should be easy, right? So first things fir first, let's try to read out our light sensor. Now we simply start with creating a long called reading and we set this equal to analog read instead of the usual digital read. This time it's analog read open brackets. Light sensor close our brackets and a semicolon. Now press enter and let's print down our current reading like so. And let's put a delay of let's say 500. Alright. Cool. Let's try and run this. Okay, it's running. Now go to tools. Open up your serial monitor. And as you can see, as soon as I put my hand above the light sensor it goes up to 900 and as soon as I pull away it goes back to 700. Alright, cool. Now if you were to write a digital read instead of analog read it will only read out at 1 and 0. Uh, it will only read out a 1 and a 0. Pretty obvious, but just so you know. Now back to our coding. 
Um, let's uh, now on to our street light. Uh, let's quickly delete the serial print. And we'll go ahead and write an if statement. So, uh, and we'll an if statement that checks whether the reading is smaller or equal to one hundred to eight hundred. So we write down if reading is smaller or equal to eight hundred. So whenever this is lower than 800, we can assume it is day and let us write a serial print telling us it is day and the current reading and we want our LED or street light to be off. So we write a digit digital write like so. Now we write else. So whenever the first statement is wrong, so meaning when it's night, we wrote we write down a serial print with night in it with a night in it and again our reading and now we want our street light to turn on all right great now let's try and run this now we go back to tools we open up our serial monitor and it tells us it's day and the current value and as you can see whenever it's day the light sensor tells us, tells us it's day and turns off the LED but whenever I hold my arm above the sensor to recreate night the sensor tells us it's night and turns on our little street light pretty cool huh? so what to do now go to Amazon and buy yourself some LEDs buttons, resistors, wires and waste a lot, of, a lot of money or buy the original Arduino starter kit or the cheaper version link will be in the description there should be an affiliate link and the normal link the affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product this does not mean the price is higher for you so don't worry but if you want to support me definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit as well, there will be a link to my Patreon page, containing all of my files that I used in today's video, such as the fritzing scheme and the Arduino code. Link for that down below. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.